What's up everybody, welcome back. We're in a slightly different spot. We're in my garage now, but we're gonna do a unboxing of the Harkin Reflex Free Flying Head Sail Furling System. That's a mouthful. But anyway, let's get into it. So we're gonna open up neatly packaged here. You can see the top layer of foam. This has been opened before, um, but it has not been really used. Uh, you got your instruction manual here, which is pretty nice, pretty detailed. It's pretty simple, to be honest. Once you read through it, uh, it's pretty straightforward, but it comes with everything you need as far as instructions, parts list, replacement parts, etc. cetera. Uh, but once we get into it, we're into the meat and potatoes here. The actual continuous furling drum is really quite nice. You can't, you just, you can't not spin it. It's a... Uh, <laughs> it's satisfying. Uh, anyway, it comes with their uh, their highest end. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. it starts with a T, ball bearing system. They're kind of the uh, brownish uh, ball bearings. Uh, real nice uh, quick release here, as far as some basic hardware, Loctite, so once you do the final assembly. Some heat shrink, you'll use this once the uh, final head stay length has been determined. The uh, swivel that will be raised to the top of the mast. Pretty awesome. Man, those bearings feel good. <laughs> uh, but you can see the track here for the, uh, the uh, torsional head stay. Uh, it is nice, they include the neoprene cover. Uh, so if it's up there and it is bouncing around, it doesn't damage your mast or anything else. Uh, that feels extremely solid, super tight, super nice. That's all right. Uh, you can see we have the uh, tack swivel down here. Um, pretty standard, looks pretty high quality. That's obviously a Harkin uh, uh, snap shackle. And that is quite simply, and we'll do this as we go along, plug into or screw into the bottom of the continuous furler. So that way you can kind of see how this goes. So that's the bottom, that'll attach to your tack point, uh, tack line, et cetera, however you're gonna do it on the bottom. Uh, this, <laughs> let's see, let me make sure I'm telling you, it is the tack swivel. There we go. Tack swivel, just so I can give you the proper term, doesn't really matter, I think we can all figure out what it does, but as you can see, this has a T-slot track on the bottom, some more uh, of their high-end quality ball bearings, super satisfying once again to spin it. Uh, and you can see the nice track for uh, the uh, torsional line. Anyway, so we'll show you here, we'll snap this together. Nice fit, pull on the quick release, release it, and you have a nice fit. So you can see the tack swivel, This, these two holes here and here, are going to be where your soft shackle uh, or Dyneema line is going to attach to the uh, tack of the sail. This is your tack swivel that you'll attach to your sprit, anchor roller, tack line, however you decide to set it up. A continuous line uh, will be inside the drum. And so you can see if you spin the drum right now, since it's not connected to anything, there's no torsional line to it, etc. You can see how it would rotate the torsional line, the sail, the luff, and the tack and the head of the sail, which are attached at the top of the mast, uh, would essentially kind of remain stationary until there's enough torsion in the line to begin rolling up the, uh, the head sail. Uh, so you can kind of see how that looks. It all feels really quality. It's pretty nice. Like it's, it's heavy, it's not too heavy. Um, the finish feels like it would be resistant to salt water. Um, my boat is a freshwater boat, so it's not so bad. Otherwise, let's look in the last part here. I'm not gonna pull both of these out, um, but these will clamp around the torsional line. So once you adjust your head stay length, one end of the torsional line will come in, wrap around, they'll meet, and then these will be the terminal ends that you will clamp the torsional line to um, and then adjust your head stay length as necessary. So you have one for the top and bottom uh, at the uh, tack and at the mast. And then we'll go ahead and pull this out just so you can see. So this is the uh, unit one 
for uh, boats up to about uh, 30 feet. Uh, you probably have to look on their website, but let's see if we can get it to focus. All right, so we're not gonna get it to be able to focus too well, but essentially you have a Dyneema Vectran core. Uh, it's a very compact, um, stiff uh, Dyneema uh, line. And the outline, it's hard to see, but there is a, a steel sheath around that, followed by the um, outer rubber core. And so, and just feeling it, and let's just, as you bend it here, um, it obviously is extremely stiff. Um, and I have not wrapped it up yet, obviously, with a sail on it. They claim that they have one of the best uh, torsional systems on the market uh, with requiring the least amount of head stay, to, or, yeah, head stay tension, halyard tension um, for it to work effectively. So eventually we'll put that to the test, but um, the line seems to be of extremely high quality and they charge you like it is, so it better be. Otherwise, this is what comes in the box. There's not a whole lot to the system. Uh, you will kind of have to determine how you're going to set it up best for your boat. Um, but if it's something that you're looking to do, I've seen a lot of videos of boats that have top down furlers on, already on them. Uh, but you really just don't kind of see other than you can go to the Harkin website. You can see exactly what comes in the box. Uh, but it is kind of nice to just to see it before you buy it. So you kind of know what you're getting into and you can plan ahead. Overall, it seems like a really good system. Uh, really excited to put it to use. It'll be a few months before we get it all finally set up. Uh, but until then, stick around, look for more, like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.